Hello and welcome to GDB Watchpoint. Today we're going to show some more about how we print data, pretty printing and other formatting of the data that we're printing. Because when we're debugging, I mean, it's really less about what line of code am I at as it is what does my data look like and why. So here I've got a, a very simple program with some with some structure with a structure right structure for a student first name last name date of birth and some comments and I've just populated this with a couple of entries I've got a student Fred Smith and um, uh, and another student Sarah Goto and uh, I've put some comments in Sarah Goto's and I've said this student is considered dangerous da 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 quite a long string deliberately long string there and that's it and my main program I'm going to show you what happens when we change some of the data so. All good, let's compile that and run it in GDB. And uh, great, so let's have a look at what my student structure looks like. Okay, fine, there it all is. There's the data, most of the data. Not terribly readable, it's sort of compressed it all. So one thing I can, I might choose is a, uh, a pretty printing format. So set print pretty on and now print students and that's a little bit nicer, one line per element, per member. Um, although now it doesn't fit all on my screen. Um, so, you know, pros and cons, you might want to do like that, you might not. So let's go back to, you might want to, I mean, I, I actually sometimes I have this uh, set pretty print on in my uh, GDB init, because I think it's a nicer default, but it's kind of subjective. So let's go back to the default of default. Of course, I can show what it is at any point like that. Um, but maybe I want to print just for just this go at print. I want to use pretty printing. So I can say print uh, dash pretty on and then dash dash and then what I want to print. The dash dash is important because maybe I'm trying to print something called on and that would be confusing. So dash dash just makes it clear to GDB. I'm no longer talking about how I'm configuring my print. I'm now actually going to print the stuff, uh, print students and it will print just that time pretty print it like that. It still doesn't print everything though. It doesn't print this comments um, for all the comments for Sarah go to just the beginning. Um, actually by default the first 200 characters. So that's another print configuration thing. So if I go show uh, print elements it'll tell me the limit on the string charts of an array elements to print is 200. So that's just the first 200 of the comments string but maybe I want more or maybe I want less of the of the, of the string to be printed. So I can do that again, I can set it globally uh, or I can set it for an individual print command. So I can go print uh, dash elements uh, unlimited dash dash students and then it prints the whole string. And then I see I actually got some useful stuff at the end of the string. I'm glad I printed uh, the whole thing. Actually, just kidding really, if you need to know how to apply it properly, slight typo there, it doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, so that's all kind of useful. Um, if I change my mind about how I want to print something, I can just reissue that print command um, without giving it, without telling it to print anything, and it'll just apply the new formatting to the previously printed thing. So, print elements ten, and now it's going to print that out, that same thing out again, um, but just with elements of ten. So it now it fits more on the screen. Okay, um, uh, or print dash dash pretty, uh, sorry, dash pretty on dash dash and. Okay, so often we print something and we think, oh, I would have liked to have printed it in a different uh, format. Um, okay, now maybe I don't want to print like from this, that long string from the beginning there. Maybe I want just a slice of that string of that array. Uh, and we can do that quite easily. So if I want, let's say I want to print the four characters starting at uh, element 50. Uh, print of that of Sarah's comments, right? So print students one comments 50 at four. And that's going to print a slice of the array. So there we go. Those are the four characters of that array. Um, GDB calls these artificial arrays, by the way. Okay. Um, and let's see what happens now when it changes. Because one of the nice things with these array slices or artificial arrays. Uh, I can actually uh, I can actually watch the data. So my program, you might have noticed, I'm going to uh, 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 malloc um, some new data, some a, a new string, and set student one comments to that because I can't. I've I've configured these this array as with uh, with strings which are literal strings which are const. I can't change them. But if I at malloc and and set that, then uh, which I've done. Uh, 
which I've done here. So then you can see I can now uh, my next line of code to execute is going to change it. So what I want to show you is how I can watch that data. So just show you once again the format for printing the artificial array. Um, and uh, I can watch that. So if I watch like that and continue, and sure enough, it hits the watch point. So that's quite useful, right? I couldn't set to watch the entire thing, the whole 128 bytes. Well, firstly, GDB is not smart enough to know that I've malloced 128 bytes. It doesn't know how big that malloced string is, so it wouldn't know how much to watch unless I told it. But even if I did tell it to watch all 128 bytes, it wouldn't go very well because uh, the x86 watch point registers, and there's just not enough of them to cover uh, that range. There's only four registers. Um, and they can cover up to eight bytes each, but each register needs to, each watch point register needs to be naturally aligned. So um, you, you can't necessarily, you know, you're quite limited to what you can watch. But if I know I want to watch this slice of the array and I can express it in x86 watch point registers, then I can, then I can do that. One thing to note though with these artificial arrays, so uh, you can see here, uh, I um, that's dollar eight, right? That's convenience variable dollar eight. So now I've changed it. So if I go print that same array slice, I've written an X into the second element of that slice, right? Um, so it's not just all zeros anymore. But if I look, just be aware of this, if I look at $8, it's still all zeros, right? So that when we print an artificial ar array, we're kind of taking a copy of that slice and it doesn't change when the program changes. Maybe what you want, but maybe surprising. So something to watch out for. Um, and um, uh, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I wanted to show you about that. Um, there's lots of uh, lots of options. So I mean, I can tab complete to see uh, interesting things. So if I go um, uh, dash uh, here, I can see all the kinds of things that I might want to uh, that I might want to uh, set. So pretty printing we saw raw value static members. I can mess about with unions so sometimes if you've got a union some of the especially some of the standard c library types have clever unions and they're a real pain to print from gdb because it just like prints each member of the union in the different formats it might be so i can turn that off um and i can also control the format that i print with uh with the slash um so if i go help print and um, that doesn't have complete sadly but um uh help 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 print i would say um so this is what we just looked at um, but I also have uh, a number of uh, different formatting specifiers that, oh, it's not here, I thought it would be in the, so dash format says here, but where does it tell me what my dash, what my formats are? I would hope that would be in the help, but it's not, okay, interesting. But anyway, so I can go print slash X and that will print the previous thing that I printed in, in hexadecimal format. Um, or I can print it slash T, which is uh, t, t for two, which is binary. Um, um, so if I, that was the previous, that was the old array slice, but if I print that and now I print it in binary, we can see what that looks like. So yeah, cool. So we've seen different ways to print things. We can control global print settings. We can just do them for an individual print command. We can print, we can print slices or artificial arrays and we can watch them as well. Thank you for listening. See you next time.